the turnout is going up. This increases the legitimacy of the European Parliament. It increases the legitimacy of whatever comes out of the Parliament. And so the ball is now fully in the camp of the European Parliament. The European Parliament has to decide what kind of coalition to form and whom to put forward. I think in the end um, all kinds of constellations are possible. What is starting now is really uh, big negotiations among the leaders of the various country parties um, about also a reshuffling of uh, the parliamentary groups. And what does the result mean for the future direction of the Eurozone? Well, I think the result, uh, first of all, means that uh, the center is holding ground and the extremists are not gaining. So in other words, uh, it's not a vote of no confidence against Europe. It's not a vote of no confidence against the Eurozone. On the contrary, it's a, it's a vote of support. So I expect um, the repair work of the Eurozone to continue. I expect the European Parliament to play a constructive role in all the Eurozone discussions that we will have in the next five years. Looking at specific proposals that uh, have happened at the Eurogroup level, for instance, a Eurozone budget, potentially a finance minister of the Eurozone, how likely are those proposals to move forward, given the further fragmentation that we're seeing now in the European Parliament? Well, I think what is important to understand is that uh, the Eurozone budget um, was very much and is very much resist resisted by member states and by certain member states in the Eurozone it's not resisted by the European Parliament and it won't be resisted in the future by the European Parliament. This is very much a question of national parliaments accepting to give some tax power to the European level, which they are currently not ready to do. But I think the message here is Europe is back, we str we, uh, Europe is strong, uh, voters want Europe and support Europe. So this will also put some pressure on the national parliaments. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.